Remastered versions of old zombies maps is something that the community has been asking for for quite a long time. We got a taste of it in Black Ops 3 DLC 4 zombie map revelations, wherein portions of the map feature remastered areas from those old maps, but we didn't get any remastered maps in full. That doesn't mean that we won't get any remastered maps in the future, what it means is we won't get them from Treyarch. Instead, the zombies community themselves, and more specifically, the map making community, has taken it upon themselves to create some of the best remastered maps within Black Ops 3 using the mod tools. Before we kick off the countdown, guys, remember to leave a thumbs up on the video and let me know in the comments which remastered map you want to see the most. For me personally, it's probably either 5 or Ascension. I think those two maps are just a lot of fun. I'd love to see them in Black Ops 3. But let's get started with our number 10 spot. Created by a Steam user named Pizza Time, this rudimentary remastered of the town portion of the transit map from Black Ops 2 has a very similar flow to the original version. What it lacks in visual quality, it makes up for in playability. This map plays very similar to the original version, minus the lava that exists in the middle of the map. You've got all the original perks in town, there are two small easter eggs, there's a buyable shield, as well as various weapon models from Black Ops 2. And for those of you that like building up a large amount of points, there is also a buyable ending. Very rudimentary, and I know it's still work in progress, but it does take our number 10 spot. Coming in at number 9, made by Steam users, it's your boy Nikes, as well as Steve Supreme, we have Origins Remastered Work in Progress, version 1.9. This map aims to be a full recreation of Origins, the fourth DLC pack from Black Ops 2, and it's on the way to getting there. The map is still very much a work in progress, but it is very playable as of this point. So far, they have the starting room absolutely completed and looking great. They also have one of the routes for the first door buy out of spawn already completed. The great thing about this map is it has a whole bunch of features already included that honestly I don't see very much of in other modded maps. For example, we now have the ability to use gobblegums inside of Origins, which is a lot of fun. There's also a bunch of DLC weapon wall buys, which is really cool. There's the pack-a-punch and a whole bunch of perks as well, making this map a lot of fun and definitely to try out. It might give you a bit of nostalgic vibes definitely at the beginning in spawn. There's some interesting mechanics in the map such as viable power-ups that you get from the first generator in spawn. There's a few mini easter eggs and two easter egg songs as well as a viable ending for 75,000 points. This map was a lot of fun to try out in its current state and I can't wait to see how it looks when they finally update and finish it. Another great thing about this map is it seems like it's updated very regularly, adding new content and areas to the map. Now moving on to our number 8 spot, it was created by a Steam user named Verition, and it's the Verukt First Room. I'm really excited about how this map looks right now and how it will look like in the future. The rooms he's already added look really, really good. It's got a bunch of assets from the original Verukt, such as the posters on the wall, which is awesome. It is really nostalgic to play in that first room just like you would in World at War. And when you look outside, you can see that the work in progress areas for a full map remake is ongoing, which is going to be awesome to see when it's completed. Verukt is probably the hardest map in World at War, and it's nice to see that somebody's finally bringing it back within Black Ops 3. I think so far this is the only Verukt remake out there as well, so this guy pretty much has a monopoly on the recreation of this map so far. I'd definitely recommend you guys check it out if you want to give it a run or two. Now moving on to our number 7 spot, this one was made by a Steam user named Xylosi, and it's called Vacant. This is a remastered version of Vacant from COD 4 with the Zombies mode. There are two multiplayer maps that have become zombie remasters on this list. This is one of them and it's freaking fantastic. It's got an awesome setting to it, a bunch of doors to open. It's faithfully recreated Vacant from COD 4. If you love the map in multiplayer, you're gonna love it here in Zombies as well. Once you start getting higher and higher in the rounds, it becomes so much more intense as the zombies start running and all this close quarters around the inside of the office building, it is freaking insane. The map has a very interesting dynamic to it and the creator did a very, very good job on faithfully recreating Vacant, but modifying it to the zombies mode to make it more interesting. Another interesting feature of this map is that it has buyable monkey bombs that you can pick up. 
and that you're gonna have to save a whole lot of points to open the Pack-a-Punch door, which is cool and it makes that just a little bit more of a rewarding experience within the map. The map also has a pretty cool easter egg wherein the reward is freaking awesome, and it's also got a custom ammunition chest where you can go and buy ammo with the price steadily increasing and very quickly increasing as rounds go by. It gives you that little bit of extra options, especially once you get into high rounds, to see where you want to spend your points. It's one of those maps that's pretty pretty difficult to camp on and you gotta keep moving in order to stay alive. Vacant is awesome and that's why it takes our number 7 spot. Moving on to our number 6 spot guys and this one's made by a Steam user named Promnagy and it's called Ascension Remastered. Now this isn't unfortunately the full map remastered, but what it is, is a faithful recreation of the Ascension starting room. It's even got the original working centrifuge in the middle of the map that spins around and kills zombies, it is freaking awesome. The map has a bunch of detail to it, uses a bunch of original assets as well. The map is definitely at a playable state as well, it's only got a mystery box as well as a quick revive perk machine, so you are gonna have to be dodging zombies to stay alive with no juggernaut, but if you love Ascension like I do, then playing this map, even though it's just a starting room, will bring back so many awesome memories, and I still think the map is a lot of fun to play, even though you are in a pretty condensed area. There are still a bunch of different strategies you can do, whether you're going to stick to the ground floor, whether you're going to try to train zombies upstairs, then drop down, whether you're going to stick by the centrifuge and let it kill zombies as it spins. There's a whole bunch of options within this map to try and stay alive. The creator did a freaking awesome job, and I definitely recommend you guys go check it out too. Now moving on to our number 5 spot guys, this is another multiplayer remaster that's turned into zombies, we have Modern Warfare 2's Rust Zombies. It was made by a Steam user named PSH and this is a freaking really well done map. I'm sure you've seen other YouTubers play this map, it is really really good, it has a bunch of weapons from Modern Warfare 2 ported in like the Intervention as well as the UMP. The map plays is very similar to how you remember it in Modern Warfare 2, and it actually works really, really well as a Zombies remaster. Not only does the map play really well, but it has a bunch of custom perks, a bunch of custom pack-a-punch camos, and everything associated with that. The sound effects are freaking awesome, and the visuals look fantastic. The map creator did a very, very good job recreating the feel of Rust while adding the Zombies twist. It is a lot of fun to play, it's really fast to get going to start buying perks and weapons which is awesome and once you start getting up into the higher rounds you better start training or try to do your best to camp at the top of the map or you'll just get freaking overrun but the map is awesome it's a pretty small download size at 439 megabytes one of the smaller download sizes especially I think it gives you the most bang for your buck in terms of download size to fun factor if you don't really have a good internet connection or not a lot of space on your hard drive this is definitely a map I would recommend you'll love of it and it doesn't take up that much space. Moving on to our number 4 spot created by a Steam user named Wilmao, we have Area 51, which is the starting room from the moon remastered. This is probably one of the best detailed of a remastered area I've ever seen in Black Ops 3 so far. It looks very very good, almost strikingly like the original, just with so much better texture, quality, and gameplay. I couldn't believe how much fun I was having just in the moon starting room. Unfortunately, he's not looking to create the full moon map, which is unfortunate because he's obviously very, very good at it. This map has all the features of a zombies map that you guys have come to expect, with perk machines, with the random box, with a pack a punch, and it also has freaking claymores instead of trip mines, which is great to see. You'll start off the game by trying to run circles around the pack a punch machine and that sometimes kind of gets dicey. I kind of took to trying to camp over by the teleporter in higher rounds and just try to fend off zombies as best as I could. It is a lot of fun to actually play. And if you enjoyed Moon back in Black Ops 1, you'll definitely get those nostalgic feelings and have a lot of fun playing in the starting room here on Area 51 Remastered. Getting down to the nitty gritty guys, only 3 maps left and coming in under number 3 spot, we have the Mob of the Dead starting room remastered by Shifty Gamer 
101. This map is probably the best detailed zombies map I've ever seen or recreated in Black Ops 3 mod tools. So far, the map looks strikingly like the original, just with so much more detail and quality. The map is only the starting room so far, but it has all the elements of a completed zombie map. It's got the four original perks and a mystery box, but honestly, playing back in Mob of the Dead in Black Ops 3 is so freaking awesome. It just looks so much like the original that it, it's incredible how much detail he put into this map. Surprisingly, even though the map is a pretty confined space, you're able to survive into pretty high rounds once you start getting your double papped weapons firing. And if you guys didn't really like doing first room challenges back in Mob just because it didn't seem that fun, now it is definitely fun here in the Mob of the Dead starting room remastered. Another awesome feature of this map and its creator is that he is working on a full Mob of the Dead remaster and he's got a whole bunch actually completed. I'll leave a link to his YouTube page down in the description if you guys want to check it out, but it is looking like it's going to be freaking awesome. I can't wait till it's finally done and released. If it's done with any kind of semblance of the quality that this map was, I am going to be very happy and excited to play the full remastered version of Mob of the Dead. Coming in at our number two spot, we have Night of the Living Dead, Nachter on Toten remastered. It was created by two Steam users named Tatsu as well as Shiny Random Guy. The map is a very faithful recreation of Nocturne Run Toten in Black Ops 3 with adding just a few more areas that makes the map a little bit more interesting with power and things like that but the map looks absolutely fantastic. The snow outside of the map looks really really good and it plays very similar to the original Nocturne Run Toten as well which is awesome. It's even got little things like the sniper chest from Nocturne on Toten, which is really, really cool. If you haven't played the very first Zombies map yet, or you haven't played it in a while, this is definitely an awesome way to get back into it. It is a updated Black Ops 3 high quality version that you guys are going to love. I've played this map with my friends a few times, and whether it's kind of training in the help room or trying to camp upstairs, it brought back a whole bunch of memories back when I played this thing back in 2008. These guys, these guys did a great job on it, and it's definitely a must download map for your Black Ops 3 custom map collection. Now finally finishing things off with our number one spot and that has to go to Kino Der Toten Remastered made by four gentlemen named Harley, Neo Plays, Hidden Sniper, as well as Mayhem. This map has come a very long way. It started out as a pretty low quality, non-finished, work in progress version of a Kino remaster and has evolved into the best remastered map so far in Black Ops 3 Zombies. The amount of quality and detail put into some areas of this map is freaking incredible. It plays very similar to the original, has all the areas of the map that you guys remember and looks freaking great. There is a few areas of the map that differ slightly from the original most notably is the stage area but honestly I can get past that pretty quick it still plays very similar to the original and the best part is that now this isn't like a work in progress map this is the full Kino Der Toten experience all the areas have been fully completed and it's also got that little Black Ops 3 twist with the rocket shield being able to be bought in the pack-a-punch room DLC weapons like the MX Grand and HG40 in the box and on wall buys for you guys to pick up. It's also got a small easter egg on the map as well if you guys want to try to find that, try to shoot the meteorites. I know for a lot of people when they think back to Black Ops 1 and some of their favorite maps, Kino Der Tone pretty much always comes up and ranks in the top 3. If you've been itching to play it once again, this is definitely the map to do so. Just be warned, it is a big download sitting at 3.75 gigabytes, but that makes sense as this is the biggest zombies map on this list with the most detail and obviously that's why it's taken our number one spot. Guys, if you've enjoyed this list, definitely remember to leave a thumbs up down below. Let me know which map you want to see remastered the most in the comments. I'd love to see it. And hey, maybe if some map makers watch this video and they check down in the comments and they see your map listed, they might say, well, if there's demand for it, just might make it. Remember, Black Ops 3 Mod Tools hasn't even been out for that long and the quality of the maps we're already seeing, especially here at the upper echelon, are freaking fantastic. And it makes me excited to see see just what these creators will make 
in the future. I want to remind you guys, if you haven't heard already, I am working on a new channel alongside God Zombies HQ. It's not gaming related, but I think you will find it very, very interesting. The first video of the main series on this new channel will be going up tomorrow, and I can't wait to show you guys the full thing. But here is the teaser for that first episode. Be sure to click the link down in the description where it says new channel. Go and subscribe. This is Evacuate Tokyo. Check it out, and thanks for watching. It's morning in Tokyo. The city awakes, thinking it's just going to be another day. Like it was yesterday, and the day before that. The children go to school, the parents to work. What they don't know is that in the next few hours, their lives could be immeasurably impacted. Behind the scenes is taking place the inner workings of what could be the biggest disaster in human history. By the end of the day, there can only be one of two options. Either they remain living like they were before, unaware of the drama that just occurred behind their backs, or the worst case scenario. The words nobody ever thought could be honestly spoken would be announced to the citizens of the largest city on earth. Abandon Tokyo. This is the story of how it almost